we get into this last song, we ask you to, hallelujah, to put your hearts and your minds on what you need from God today, hallelujah. We want God to saturate this place, hallelujah. We want our minds to be on him, hallelujah, as we begin to receive his word. Hallelujah.
Lord and Savior Jesus Christ upon this day. And all that he's doing and all that he has done. Amen. We do thank God for our overseer, Apostle Coward, as well as the board of bishops, our designing bishop of God. We thank God for Bishop Richard, overseer of this district. Praise God for Bishop Sean. As well as over the West Coast, as well as over here, Kevin Williams, the Bishop of the New North, baby. We certainly thank God for our District Elder Ronnie Upshaw. Amen. Thank God for all the wives and their children and uh, the families that gives us our leaders. Amen. Hallelujah. And I certainly thank God for each and every one of you that makes up this part of the body, amen. I am nothing without you, I love you, and I appreciate all that you do, all your labors, all your time, all your sacrifices, and all of your dedication, amen. I just want to remind you, nothing go unnoticed, rather than said, amen. You ought to tell God, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You may. And sees, I do thank God for my wife as well as all my children on today. I uh, Elder Johnson as well as Lady Amen. Johnson. Hallelujah. Y'all just lift hands and say, Lord, I love you. You ought to do it because you love them and not because I told you to do it. Hallelujah. There's nothing like a risen king. I want to talk with you. Get to the book of Philippians, chapter 1. trying to be for you but just a few amen I know we're excited about the convention coming and amen. we can't wait someone's already started packing our bags amen some of us gonna wait till the day before amen but we ready hallelujah it's good to see sister Naomi bless you amen. Bless you, sister. I, I didn't forget to call you. I got caught up, but I love you. <laughs> Amen. Y'all love the Lord. Amen. Y'all look at me like I'm going for laughing. Y'all wonder why I stay so healthy. Why would we laugh this? Medicine. Amen. But I'll get back. Give me the book of uh, Philippians, chapter 1, verse 6. Uh -huh. Being confident of this very thing. Being confident of this very thing. That he which has begun a good work in you. He that begun a good work in you. Will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. He gonna do it until he come back. I want to speak with you. Uh, from a very, very simple thought. Very, very simple. It's real simple. Amen. Y'all ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, man. Tell somebody he gonna do it. He gonna, he gonna do, do it. it. Yes, Lord. I thought I wanted. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Tell somebody else he gonna do it. He gonna do it. He gonna do it. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Paul was right here in the book of Philippians, in verse six. He's saying, "Being confident." And the problem with the religious sector, like a real church for we confident, but in religion, they're not confident that God can do what he sought out to do. Uh, they're worried whether or not God gonna do it. And once you get your confidence that God gonna do something, that he's when you look at the scripture, it's really saying he's more than able to do what he's not out to do. 
And so God started something in your life, and God's going to finish what he started in your life. And not only is he going to finish it, he's going to finish it up to the day he appeared. Amen. And if you're not careful, you'll lose confidence because you think God done forgot about you just based on the way your life is moving. Amen. You got to understand the process of God. God don't work on that time. In fact, God works out of time. He's eternal. Yes, sir. And so since he worked out of time and your time and his time, you ain't going to never be on the same page. That's right. And this is why he say, let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, because he wants you to understand something. I put a mind in the flesh, and his flesh had enough sense to know, even though it was going to be tormented, it was going to be tortured, that he was going back the way he came from. Amen. Y'all with me? Amen. So you got to get your confidence back in Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to get your, your it, 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 it's a lifestyle that show me that you're confident. In Christ. Go with me to the book of 1 John. And his lifestyle is contribute to what you hear. You hear and you live. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I give you a subtopic? Yes, sir. Tell somebody Jesus is too legit. Jesus is too legit. For me to quit. For me to quit. Because see, when, when you find out how legit he is and that he's able to keep his words, you won't quit on him. Amen. That's but right. since you don't think his words is legit, you quit. Mm. Help us, Lord. Hallelujah. Now, I ain't talking about the MC Amazon now, don't y'all? Who's talking about Jesus? I said, Jesus is too legit. Jesus is too Jesus is too legit for me to quit. Amen. Hallelujah. And since I understand his words are real, and I understand that his words is him himself. I understand I got victory even in the midst of the storm. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every baptized believer that everybody that's been baptized in the name of Jesus, praise God, you got on something. Amen. You got on Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me show John. Where you go? Go to Galatians 3. I'm trying to build your confidence this morning. Amen. Amen. Tell somebody, God is legit. God is legit. 3 and 27. Galatians. Y'all got it? Mm -hmm. For as many of us have been baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. As many of us have been baptized into Christ, have done what? Put, put on, on Christ. Christ. You see, that's why you got to have his name in the water because you got to make sure you got on the right outfit. Come on now, Elder. So if you get baptized in the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, you ain't got on Jesus. You got on the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Right. Make it play, Elder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I got baptized in Jesus' name because I want to put on the Jesus bread. Amen. You see, he's so, he's so crafty how he do things. Go back over there to 1 John chapter 4 and, and see, hearing God and accepting God is believing God. You know, you can quote a scripture, but do you believe the scripture that you quote? Come on now. Find something very powerful. Yesterday, I, I'm stuck on this wingman uh, uh, message. And you got to have a wing if you're going to make it in. Amen. Amen. Now, I thought about so We say we're going to be caught up in the sky. This, most of everything that fly got wings. I sometimes go propeller. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Four and six. First, John, uh huh. We are of God. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that knoweth God do what? Hear us. Uh-huh. He that is not of God heareth not us. He hear not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth uh -huh. and the spirit of error. See, if you know God, you can hear God. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. And you don't hear God, hallelujah, uh, from like just a thunder. Mm -hmm. God got a voice. Amen. Amen. And this way, he came back. Uh, Romans chapter 10 and 14. You follow me because I want to be your confident. My job is a confident, uh, confident builder. Amen. They got this new term. They call it a life coach. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, um, <laughs> 10 and 14 Romans. And you got a real life coach when you got somebody that can really hear from the life coach himself. <laughs> How you going to have a life coach if they ain't heard from life? Amen. Yes, sir. Giving you a natural life, and we get so we and, and, and the thing that bothers us is we get so discombobulated spiritually when it comes to naturally. Mm -hmm. If our natural lives don't move the way we're supposed to, we fault God. 
It's real, elder. I don't even want to go to church no more. Why well, you still go to job? They done saw that your paycheck. They cut your hours. They sent you home early. I don't know if you really suspended. Some of us wanted that suspension anyway. They done get that early. But we go back. You done went to Walmart and let us snatch your money and I made your way to line about every bit of 40 minutes. But you go back there. Come on. Hallelujah. And some of you in your club days, you done got in the fight in the club <laughs> and everything, but you went back the next week. Yeah. In fact, you didn't only go back, you went back with a plane. Well, they come this week, I got this ball in my pocket. Come on. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I know y'all so saved, none of y'all done this. Amen. But it's the truth. Yeah. But when you come into the church, you lose confidence in God based on your trial or whatever trouble you had in the church. You got to put that bottle in your pocket. Better yet, put that word in your heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put the confidence that God has got some work in me, and he's going to finish this work in me, even if I had a minor setback, praise God, even if the devil done tried to manipulate me, even if I had to start all the back over, glory be to God, he's going to finish it. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. He is doing excellent things. He is doing excellent things. In my life. In my life. Read. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Uh -huh. And how should they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Mm -hmm. And how should they hear without a preacher? How can they do what? Hear, hear. Without, a without a what? Preacher. preacher. And then he got another cause. And how shall they preach except they be been sent? Uh -huh. As it is written, uh -huh. how beautiful are the go, feet. Go back over there to First John chapter 4. Because now he said he sent the preacher. And what he's trying to say is that if you're going to hear me, you got to hear a preacher. Amen. And it can't be any preacher. It got to be a sent preacher. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it just can't be a sent preacher. It got to be a sent preacher by the last thing I put in the church was the apostles. The apostles got to send. Amen. And so this is why the confidence messed up because the order messed up. The structure Amen. messed up. So people don't got nothing to give. Amen. 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 The said something so powerful yesterday. He said you got to feed the man so he can mess. So the stuff can grow. Mm -hmm. It sounds kind of, when you think about it, it's like, ooh. But we stop feeding leadership, and we wonder why we ain't growing. Mm -hmm. There's no fertilizer. Mm -hmm. Those amens and thank you, Jesus, come on, preacher. Listen, that was, that was us feeding the preacher. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We would tell you. Amen, man. Ain't, ain't I'm, I'm, trying for. I'm trying to show you how you get some fertilizer on your tree. Yes, sir. And get some fruit on your tree. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you fight, if you fight, and you fight, Hallelujah. The man starves. Mm -hmm. And if the man starves, the tree dies. So both die. Right. And this is why the confidence messed up because the man that's supposed to be giving you confidence, they ain't got confidence. Come on, Elder. Right. Anytime the preacher tells you to get the vaccine, vaccine what that thing called? The, the vaccination, he done lost confidence in his God. Yes. <laughs> Anytime the preacher tells you, praise God, to watch out for the monkey paws, you need to worry about what that preacher is because Elder. monkey paws ain't for everybody. Come on, Elder. Yeah, Elder. Hallelujah. <laughs> Anytime they tell you, well, God said, don't be foolish, Paul said, I'm a fool for Christ's sake. <laughs> yes, he said, for Christ's sake. Now, don't be no fool yeah, right. without the Christ's sake part in it. <laughs> Y'all follow me? Yeah. Tell somebody, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Let me say, Lord, use me like you started. Lord, Lord use me like you started. Let me just say, Lord, use me how you want to use me. Lord, use me how you want to use me. Lord, Lord, use use me, me. You you don't say that now. You don't mean it. You're going to use me. Come on, Lord. You're going to be in that office talking about, I don't know where I'm going through. God, you told God to use you. Yeah. Go back over there to Philippians chapter 2. No, 4 and 6. First John 4 and 6. I'm sorry. 4 and 6. We are God, uh-huh. He that knows God, he is us. Uh-huh. He that is not of God, he is not us. Mm -hmm. Hereby. Get verse 5. That's the verse I'm searching for. They are of the world. They are the world. Therefore speak they of the world. They talk about the world. And the world hear them. The world do what? Hear, hear them. them. But the world don't hear us. The world hear them. And we can't hear the world because we got another ear. Yes, sir. We got, we got another set of eyes and we got another set of ears. Not these things right here. Yes, sir. This is for the world. But I got some inside of me. I got an inner ear. Yes, yes. And that's why the scripture says, he that has an ear, let him hear. hear. Then he got another call, but the Spirit says to the church. So there's an inner ear, hallelujah, that the Spirit talk in that he is God. Now this is how to get anything. You better watch this thing, it'll get you in trouble. Quick. Uh -huh. You sure got to watch this thing. Yes, 
Because it'll say some stuff that you say you didn't mean, but it was in you, but you said it. Now you can't take it back. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can't be rash with this thing. Mm-hmm. You don't be a babbler. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Say what you mean, mean what you say. Amen. And by God, do what you say. Yes. Amen. To the best of your ability. Yes. I'm telling the brother, listen, you say some stuff, you gotta you gotta be careful. And see, we talking and your conversation, everything you said is being recorded up in heaven. Your whole conversation, you talking about, oh, well, they didn't hear me what God did, and he recorded it. Uh-huh. It's in the book, Corinthians, I forget the chapter. Go to Philippians 2 and 12. Y'all love the Lord? Amen. Read. Yes, sir. And it reads. Wherefore, Wherefore, my beloved, mm-hmm. as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, mm-hmm. but now much more in my absence. So you ain't just doing it when I'm around, but you obey me even when I'm going, uh-huh. Work out your own salvation. Work out your own salvation. With fear and trembling. With fear and trembling. For it is good, it is God which worketh in you. It is God that worketh well. In, in you. you. In you. Both to will and to do of his good pleasure. So is God working in you? It's something now. God and you working so you can do good because you can't do good by yourself, but he working in you so you can fulfill what he got for you to fulfill. Mm. And it's a slap in God's face when you say it's too hard. That means you ain't using the tool that's in you to help you get over what you're trying to get through. Mm. So the only reason why it's hard because you're not allowing the, uh, the God to do the work you're trying to do the work. Mm. And so you want to quit because see, your life ain't legit enough to, to, to do what God called you to do. Amen. You need a God in your life or the God in your life to fulfill what God has for you to fulfill. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You can't save yourself. I know the Bible says save yourself when you're towards the but when you're trying to take it in the place where you can be saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is why we get worked up with life, the problems of life, the difficulties of life. And it's just simple. It's called the facts of life. Mm-hmm. But the fact of the matter is, if God is in you working, why can't you work through? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, I can't quit. I can't quit. Read. <clears throat> Do all things mm-hmm. without murmuring. Do all things without murmuring. And disputing. Disputing. That ye may b- be blameless and harmless. Oh, see, some of us, we don't, we don't got the confidence. And since we going through something, I learned a long time ago. Just go through, shut up, and go through. Mm-hmm. And then praise while I'm in the midst of going through whatever I got to go through. Amen. <clears throat> Crying ain't going to change it. Amen. 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 Maybe I don't cry hard enough. <laughs> I will cry about some things and I say, amen. It didn't change. It still was the same way it was when I was crying. Right. <laughs> but I learned, listen, and, and, and you got to make sure you're crying on the right shoulder. First of all, you cry to yourself. Yes, you can't do nothing. But listen, you get on Jesus' shoulder. Hallelujah. Even though you cry, you get some strength in the middle of you crying. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes. But you still cry, but you got strength. And then you think about those tears. And these tears really just pointless. Lord, I got you. Yes. These, these sorrows, Lord, I feel them, but I got you. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I'm confident in this thing, Ray. I'm confident, hallelujah, that if God told me to do something, I'm going to be able to do it. And I'm going to do it the way he want me to do it. I'm going to do it the way he like it done. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell somebody, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Times do get hard. Yes, sir. But you got to let God work in you so his will can be done in your life. Amen. Not just sometimes. Tell somebody, all the time. All the time. Like the song they were saying, all the time. All the time. <laughs> he is good. Amen. Well, at least I know he's good to somebody. Amen. Y'all said all the time he was good. So when you tell me all the time, all me, all to me, that means even when you're sick in your body, whether you ain't got no money in the bank, praise God, your kids cutting up, your grass overgrown, God's still good. Amen. Tell somebody he's good to me. He's good to me. Not only is he good, he's a real good God. He's real and he's good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody ought to tell him thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You ought, to, you ought to show no show out of the devil this morning. Praise God. If you got a problem or a situation, the devil been fighting your mind. You ought to say, you still good, Jesus. You are still good. You feel like giving up. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. You feel like giving up. You say, Lord, you still good. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You ought to 
to show up and make the, me the devil man say, Jesus still is God. Jesus still is God. Hallelujah. Tell him the spite of, he's still God. Spider, he's still the way maker. Y'all forgive me. I thought I was talking to some church folks. Oh, wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because see what happened. When God put a word on you, it's, it's sealed. I know we don't use post office. Most of, most of us and everything, Gmails and emails now. Hallelujah. But back in the day, we used to have this. this we used to take, some of y'all don't know, we used to go to the post office. We had letters. And we put letters in the envelope. Like y'all put y'all tied in, but we had mailing envelopes. And we used to write the address on the envelope. So, you know, you got to break it down. And some of y'all don't know. And we used, to, we used to write our name, the return address, and the send address. And we used to buy this thing called the stem. Mm -hmm. They still sell them. Now, you go to Portland, you say, we buy a stem. And we, I used to always buy the forever stem because I learned the forever stem, no matter when it's, because stem go every year. That the forever stem, if the price don't, if you, you, you buy that, and the price of it never change. You can use that forever. But if you bought the 30 cent stem, Next year, the stamp will be 33 cents. At 30 cents stamp, you got to put another stamp with it. Y'all follow me. I know I got to make, make it make Come sense on. to you. I know y'all don't know nothing about this. But the, if you put your envelope in the mailbox, y'all know what the little flag on your mailbox you used to lift that up. Mm -hmm. When you got mail in your mailbox, say so you want know the postman to get the mail out the mailbox. That's what that little flag on the aim for decoration. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so you used to put your letter in the mailbox and you put the flag up. And the, and the mail, the mail uh, person or whoever come to get it, they come get the mail. But the mail was no good if it had that stamp on it. Uh -huh. You see, it wouldn't go nowhere. I don't care what you, you take it to the post office itself, they wouldn't deliver it. <laughs> and when they deliver it, with that stamp on it, they, uh, they put a stamp on top of the stamp. Yep. Uh -huh. It's a seal, meaning that they've been through the proper channels. Uh -huh. See, what God is trying to do, God is trying to put a seal on you. So he sent this word. Now the word got to come back to God. That's why the Bible tells you in the book of Isaiah, his word don't come back for us. Yes. Come on. Hallelujah. Because his, his word got a stem on it. Come on. But he got to send the word. And you got to live by the word so God can approve you. Yes. That's why he says, stand it to show yourself approved. And you don't understand, hallelujah, you in the mailbox. God ain't forgot about you. The postman just didn't run yet. Right. And you get a little worried, praise God, because you don't see no other letter in the box. As long as you got the step, you you you, you going to get to your destination. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, you may be going a little farther. That's probably why you ain't got your breakthrough yet. You probably got to, you, know, you may be going to Canada somewhere, and I was just going around the corner in state, praise God. So you worried about my delivery, but your delivery is coming. Thank you, hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank God just to see you on the express delivery because he wants you to learn some along the way. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Give me the book of uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13. Tell somebody, I'm in the process. I'm, I'm in, in the, the process. process. And it reads, uh -huh. In whom ye also trusted. In whom ye also trusted? After that ye heard the word of truth. After you did what? Heard, heard the word so of truth. So the word of truth is supposed to bring some type of trust. Uh huh. The gospel of your salvation. The gospel of your salvation. In whom also after thee ye believed. Mm -hmm. You were sealed with that Holy Spirit you, of promise. You were sealed. Sealed. You ever know somebody, you go to the store, you get a bag of chips, and they seal, guess what happened? Nothing can't get in and nothing can't get out. I wonder if we seal because a lot of stuff creeping into the church and a lot of stuff going out. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. If you seal the word of God, God says, for I'm the Lord, I change not. People changing God to fit them. Well, they ain't changing God. Let me not say that. They trying to change the law of God to fit them. Yes, sir. They're manipulating the word to fit their lifestyle. Amen. Hallelujah. They telling you, you you foolish, hallelujah, because you won't quit on what you know is right. Amen. Tell somebody, I ain't giving up. I ain't, I ain't giving up. up. Look at somebody else say, I'm going through. I'm going, I'm going through. through. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm talking about you going through. Amen. Yes, amen. I'm going to go through this trouble. I'm going to go through this trial. I'm going to go through this tribulation. I'm going to go through this hurt. I'm going to go through this misfortune, but I'm going through. Yes. Tell somebody, he legit. He's legit. Yeah. Haven't he brought anybody else before? He brought you out before? Amen. Yes, sir. Yes. Have he ever given you hope before? Have he ever given you strength before? Have he ever given you mercy and grace? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The fact that we here this morning, glory be to God, yes. saying that God is real. God yes. woke us up this morning. God gave us grace. God gave us strength. God gave us help. Praise God. That's 
I said everything that had broke, praise the Lord, praise. Right. And I wonder why he said everything that had broke because he knew from the fact that you got broke, you got another opportunity, you got another chance. Hallelujah! You should have another dance, you should have another shout, you should have another thank you, Jesus, all because you got broke. Not because you got a new car, not because you got a new house, not because you got some new shoes, not because you got money in the bank, but because you got a broke. That's enough to give God a praise and tell God thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody, I'm just gonna shout because I got the breath to do it. Listen, even if your breath kind of smell it, you still got the breath. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every now and again, you got to remind the devil, I still got breath. You ain't got me, you won't have me because I got breath. I got the breath of life. I got the breath of script. Hallelujah. You ought to just take a real deep when it's just. Just take a real big one, and then when it come out, you ought to just let a hallelujah come out. Ah! I'm sealed because I know his words. And once you realize, you know what made me real confident in God? Hebrews chapter 6. Make me real confident. When I thought about it, I said, man, God is legit. Everything he said, legit. Everything. Everything. He said is legit. 6 and 18. Everything God said is legit. That by two. By two. Immutable things. Immutable things. In which it was impossible for which, God to lie. Now, it's impossible for God to lie, but the scripture over there, uh, Luke, tell me all things are possible through him, but he says it's impossible for him to lie. Uh huh. We might have a strong consolation. I got a strong consolation. Who have fled for refuge to lay hold of my, my, my belief in God because it's impossible for God to lie. Y'all know what impossible means, don't you? He can't. He can't do it. I can praise God for anything as long as I'm following the order that he say I can get it. I got it. Amen. See, my belief is to, see, and I say this a lot, but some of us believe that he can, but I know he done did it. Yes, Amen. While you believe that he can, I know it's already done. Amen. I know my family is saved. Hallelujah. 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 I know that he broke them out. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See, I know it will be all right. I, I don't believe God can do it if I I'm past that because belief already gave me that. Amen. Hallelujah. In fact, I, I feel like I got one up on the devil. Praise God. Because I ain't just called, I feel I'm chosen. Yes, amen. And it's something about when God choose you. I told you, listen, everybody God didn't buy back. But some of us he bought back. Thank you, Lord. Some of us he made and let us go their own way. And some of us he made and bought us back. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I feel like, and I know you had to love me because you called me, chose me. There's some people he called, but he ain't chose. He called and said, no, I realize I ain't want these. I'm taking you back to the store because I don't want you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so when you think about it, this is what make God legit because of what you're going through. Hallelujah. It won't consume you. It won't beat you. It's not better than you. You just got to change this. Let's say victory. 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 First Peter chapter 1 and 5, it deals with the power. Since you read 6 and 18, but he said, God can't lie. Yes, Tell somebody he can't. can't. If he can't, therefore he won't. Uh huh. Chapter 1, verse 5. Who are kept by the power of God. They kept by the what? Power of God uh -huh. through faith unto salvation. Through faith unto salvation, but they kept by God's power. And once you know that God got all, now we're saying this something, He got the whole world in His hands. He got the many, many children in His hands. We used to say that in Sunday school. But then you say in the song, but then you don't even believe the song you sang because you're going through, oh Lord, I'm going to die, but you just say you in His hands. And if God got the power, hallelujah, to keep you, what can take you from God? Nothing. I got a real serious question. I'm not being sarcastic. Mm -hmm. What is God scared of? What can beat God? What is more powerful than God? 
What can see more than God? What can know more than God? What we worried about? There's nothing bigger than the God I believe. There's nothing. Listen, that's why he said greater in you that's in the world because he's trying to tell me what's in me bigger than everything that you can see. Thank in you fact, Jesus. what's in me so big it made the world, but then it's small enough to fit in me. Thank you, Lord. Tell somebody we got power. We got, we got power. power. <clears throat> and with power comes victory. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Tell somebody he's legit. He, he is legit. legit. Somebody say he's legit. He's he legit. legit. This gospel that we preach is legit. In the beginning was the word, word with God, the word was God. This gospel is legit. Read. Good through faith unto salvation, mm -hmm. ready to be revealed in the last time, mm -hmm. wherein ye greatly rejoice through now for a season, uh -huh. if need be. You are in heaviness through manifold temptation. Yes, he said there for a season, but he told you how to overcome it. Rejoice. When you weak in your trouble, you give the devil, the devil, the enemy, or whomever, you give it to them. I found that uh, my son doing a lot. My baby boy, when he find out he making a man, he keep red on going. And they get louder and louder. He, keep, he go red on, he go red on. I said, just ignore him. Because if he says something you ignore him, guess what he can't do? He, he don't feel like he's being effective. If every time the devil hits you and you keep going through and going through and going through and giving up on God, the devil being effective. All he wants you to do is get to the point of giving up. Hallelujah. He wants you to get to the point of disbelief. He wants you to get to the point of whether or not you questioning God. He wants you to get to that point. But if I'm rejoicing, Lord, listen, Job had it. Job had the message. Don't you slay me? Yeah, who I trust. You let your trust become an issue with God because you're being slayed. Mm. But you don't understand God is putting on you because he know that you're able to bear. He said, listen, this is a strong soldier. So I can send them loose mail because they can manage. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You ought to just lift your hands right now and say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I Lord, thank, I thank you. you. I ain't tell you what thank you, I'm just telling you thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You know why you got to say, Lord, thank you for choosing me. Thank you for choosing me, Lord. Go to verse 20, uh, Philippians 1 and 29. And it reads, For unto you it is given the behalf of Christ, not only to believe on him, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. Wait a minute. Is it not only to believe on him, but to do what? Suffer, suffer. for his sake. For who? His his sake. So you ain't even still suffering even about you. It's for God's sake. And you crying about what you're going through. God trying to show you that he's a legit savior. Thank you. You couldn't really give him credit for being a savior if he ain't never saved nothing. That's right. It's true. You could magnify him for being a deliverer if he never delivered nothing. Amen. You can't say he's a healer if nobody ever been healed. Right. But you can't be healed unless you're sick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't be delivered unless you're bound. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God chose us to go through some of these situations so he can really get his proper credit. And we just say, oh, he's a deliverer, just believe. But then when it's your turn to believe that he's a deliverer, you don't believe. It's real, Elder. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Also deep. Amen. The truth. He's all God. And everything I need is in his power. We, you know, we got to lose the concept that God, the devil can beat God. You know, people really believe that. They really think God and the devil fight. Man, that ain't no fight. That like me taking bed of uh, uh, brother Mari. Mari don't stand a chance. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, he's pumping his knuckles, but he won't stand a chance. He is. He's ready. <laughs> he may get a lick and may get one good one, but he don't stand a chance. And so sometimes when you look at the devil and his immature ways and his immature thoughts, yes, man, devil, you don't stand no chance. He don't stand a chance, and we got to get this. Listen, if God and the devil was fighting, why he ain't went back up in heaven and took the heavens back in? Come on. Make it make it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If he's so big and he's so bad, why in the name of Jesus, every knee, bow, every knee. If he's so bad, why he still bow? And what I'm trying to tell you, you got the weapons, you got the proper weapons for this warfare. You just won't use your weapons, but you're using your depression, hallelujah. You, 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 you're using your 
your emotions trying to fight God. You don't move God like that. Come on. You move God by rejoicing, yeah. by praising, by singing, by dancing, hallelujah, Thank by lifting you. your hands, hallelujah. 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 And he's so different because, to the, 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 you, you know, in the world when you lift your hands, that's a sign of defeat, but, but when you lift your hands to God, that's a sign of victory. Amen. Lord, I'm lifting my hands because I know you already won. Yes, yes, God. You're so powerful, Lord, I can beat this without my hands. Yes, sir. I can beat this Lord with just my word. Yes, Hallelujah. But I'm willing to suffer with him. Tell somebody victory shall be mine. Victory shall be mine. Oh, I wish I had some confidence folks say victory is mine, praise God. This ain't just shall, it is. You got to see the importance of having confidence in God. And I told you before, some of us got faith issues because we got trust issues. So we can't really believe in God the way we want to because if we don't move the way, if he don't move when you want him to move, you don't trust that he's going to move. Amen. Peter was sinking and according to the book, he was under the water. He was under the water. But he had enough confidence, he kept looking at God. Amen. I can imagine him saying, he's seeing Jesus standing on top of the water. He's like, hi in the world, just save me. And God wants you to get to a point where you can really trust and believe him and you can rely on his scripture. See, what the, if I can be honest with you, some of us have been lying on what we got in our ability. It's too long that we really ain't been giving God his proper energy. Hallelujah. Help us. Because we thought it was us. Oh, it's my good job that got me this. This is my good looks that got me that. This is my uh, 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 way with words got me that. That didn't get you nothing. It was God that allowed you to get it. And you got to see that it's him that's allowing me to. It's all right to suffer. It's all right to cry. It's all right, hallelujah, to get disappointed. But don't give up. God is too good for you to walk away from God now. Amen. Yes, he is. Tell them I'm suffering with him. <laughs> suffering with him. Finish that. Having the same conflict which you saw in me yeah. and now here to be in me. Get, 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 get 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and 13. Y'all love the Lord? Amen. Somebody ought to tell them thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And it reads, mm -hmm. but we are bound to give thanks always to God for you. He said we are bound to give, give thanks to God always for you. Uh -huh. Brethren, be loved of the Lord, mm -hmm. because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation. God did what? But the question is this, when? From the beginning. From the beginning he chose you. Amen. You didn't choose him. He chose you. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I decided I was going to give my life to Christ. You didn't decide. <laughs> you decided to be obedient to what he told you to do. Yeah, I just decided like this. I'm just going to come on into the church and be saved. And I'm glad you just made that decision, but you can't come until he calls you. Amen. That's right. Second Thessalonians 2 and 13. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you. Mm -hmm. Brethren, beloved of the Lord, mm -hmm. because God hath from the beginning mm -hmm. showed you to salvation mm -hmm. through sanctification through, of the Spirit. Through sanctification through the Spirit and belief of the truth. Uh -huh. Whereunto he called you by our gospel. He called you by the gospel, uh huh? To the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. God gave you the glory before you even got. God is so powerful. Thank you. And see, when you deal with this one, it's going to lose. God is so powerful. He's so powerful. Even before he was conceived, he had already given himself a name. Before conception. And so this is how we know God, hallelujah, is not the, the son of man and the son of God. We understand it's the same people. But one began at a later date than the other one, but the name was already there for both of them. 
of the, the, the son of God was born, the son of man always existed. The son of man name was Jesus. And he's going to show you this over here in the book of Luke. Uh, 2 and 21. And this is what he's trying to show you. You got victory even in the midst of the hell you're going through. It, even in the midst of your troubles. Your, your victory was already named. Hallelujah. Listen, if the devil was going to kill me, he should have got me before I got out of those streets. <laughs> Come on, I done made it out. Yes, thank you, Lord. Now, I don't want to go to Jesus, but if he kill me now, I still win. Amen. I just get to go lay down somewhere. I take a shortcut on y'all. I'm gone. It's the glory. Back to God decided to take me there tomorrow. Don't you cry, my friend. Y'all better be dancing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, like, boy, he gone. I said, Wilson, you better cry. Y'all let, let her know if she don't cry. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Look, I got a problem. Two and 21, huh? And when the eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Jesus. His name was called what? Jesus. Jesus. Uh huh. Which was so named of the angels before he was conceived in the womb. <laughs> when he got his name? Before he was conceived. Before. The name was dead. It's all Cal. He's trying to show you. Jesus and God is the same person. And just like and what I'm trying to show you, victory in your trial is the same thing. Your victory is in your trial. Amen. Hallelujah. If you never fight, you never win. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wish y'all was with me. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Trying to show you the same thing. Your salvation was in his suffering, but his suffering, hallelujah, was your victory. Thank hallelujah. you, Jesus. Amen. And he was an example of what Thank we were doing, praise God. Because he wanted us to understand we ain't gonna get everything that we wanted, how we wanted, but we still victorious. Yes. Yes. Even if they put me on the cross, I still win. Amen. Jesus was looking at it. And the problem is. Hallelujah. We want to stay out of shape because we like the we like the feeling of being out of shape. We like the way, listen, we gotta put no work in, we gotta put no fight in, we gotta put no resistance in, and we feel good like that. Mm. But if you're working at your salvation, guess what you're doing? You're working yourself into shape. Yes. yes. Often wonder why he said they ain't fit for the kingdom of heaven, praise God, because they was out of shape. Mm. They supposed to be shaped through the word. Yes. And since the word didn't shape him, hallelujah, God said, you look back, boy, you ain't fit. Yes. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You got to know how to, listen, listen, you got to know how to shake some of them problems off. Because Amen. if you put so much problems on you, it changes your shape. It will. Hallelujah. hallelujah. What you mean? Instead of you having a shout, you got a murmur. You got Come a on play. now. You yes. got, hallelujah. You got, you got something yet that's negative. Oh. But I'm in shape for this. Yes. Yes. There's a lot of legit. Legit. And since he's so legit and I understand that he legit, praise God, I know he got this. Yes, sir. Right. I'm just a face you see him, but I ain't even calling this shot. Amen. It's by his glory we are. Yes. It's by his power we stand in, in this place. Yes. Yeah, glory. Thank you, Lord. It's by his words the world moves. Hallelujah. It's by him and his power we were able to drive up and down that highway. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. I know we think we can drive good, but it wasn't you keeping that car in between the lane. Hallelujah. It was the power of God giving you the ability to keep that car in that road. I hope you don't think it was your locks on the doors that kept the burglar out of the line. I know a couple of them. Got the rain, don't They'll be ringing it still coming in. Amen. 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 You lock your car last night talking about nobody ain't going to steal. It ain't the car lock that's called somebody from steal. It was God saying, listen, you can't bother them. Amen. Yes, you going to roll over down the road, but you can't get them. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 It's his power and his might that's keeping us. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And the job of the enemy is to make you lose faith in your Savior. Hallelujah. 
He wants you to, he wants you to back, listen, he wants you to turn around and say, God, I can't do it, because if he can get it, you would have been in that condition five years. I believe the now. fact that I'm still in this condition and I ain't destroyed. Tell me God can do it. Oh, oh, he can do it. He can do it. He can do it. Yes, he can do it. Five years. Come on now, oh. There's somebody too legit. Yeah, too legit. Salvation, hallelujah. It ain't cost me nothing but a little separation, praise God. It ain't cost me nothing but I had to deny myself. It ain't cost me nothing but a prayer night, hallelujah. It ain't cost me nothing but a real serious relationship. But I'm so glad, hallelujah. I decided to turn away from the world. I'm so glad, praise God. I had a desire to live different. I'm so glad, hallelujah. I don't feel like there's nothing wrong with me, praise God. Because I don't mind praising God. Because I don't mind shouting, hallelujah. Because I don't mind dancing, praise God. I don't mind suffering. Because he's been that good to me. He woke me up this morning. Hallelujah. Put me on my way, hallelujah. He took me to the water, praise God. And brought me back to life, hallelujah. I wish I had somebody who didn't mind giving God a praise because he's been good to you. Because he saved your life, hallelujah. When you thought you had it, you didn't have nothing. But everybody gave up on your praise God. He was there for you, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. And I'm one of you that went back to the mess, hallelujah. And God brought me back out of my mess, praise God. And sanctify me again. I wish I had a witness, hallelujah, that know how good he was, that know everything that he brought you out of, and everything that he brought you through, hallelujah. Tell us about it, he's too legit. before he was placed in Mary. It's something about that name that carries power. It's someone you can just say the name of Jesus. Here, God, I wish. And things in heaven, things in earth, 
And if you can just learn how to use your weapons, Hallelujah. If you can learn how to use your words, Every time the devil goes to cut up all you gotta do is say Jesus. Every time you feel like you're gonna lose your mind, all you gotta do is say Jesus. Tell somebody he already done it for me. He already done it for me. 
Just about he too. I can't quit my praise. I can't quit my shout. I can't quit my gift. I can't quit the faith. Hallelujah. Cause he's just that good. He's just that real. He's just that. He's just that. He's just that. Hallelujah. Everything that I need. Keep your confidence. God purposed you for something great. He purposed you for something big. And your trial sometimes comes so you can stay home. Because if you uh, obtain rapid success, you will always give yourself the glory. You will always acknowledge yourself as the one that's doing it. So every now and then they gotta throw a monkey in the party. So you can come back to him and say, Lord, it was you that did it. Yes. It was you, Lord. It wasn't me. It was you. Yes, God, I take it. It's the Koro Bayak and the Yas. It's all in all. It's for you to acknowledge that we have a God bigger than life. Tell somebody he's too legit. He's too legit. He never lied to me. He never took from me. Thank you, Lord. I knew what the things he took was the things I needed to lose. Amen. He never left me. He never forsake me. He's real with his words. And I trust him. In fact, I trust him with my very life. And if you're going to get somewhere, you got to trust him with your very life. Amen. Hallelujah. Even the world know that. They say something like, uh, 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 my life is not my own. Hallelujah. And I say this in my closing. You, 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 you should give God your life now. Because it's going to come a time when you shall do it. Amen. And on that shall, hallelujah, you ain't got no direction. You're going to whatever shall be yours. Hallelujah. So if I do it when he's asking, I ain't got to worry about when he come back to me. Come on. Hallelujah. And I'm so confident, praise God, that his word is true. I'm so confident, hallelujah, hallelujah. I can't be defeated. And see, once you understand a fight, hallelujah, you know you can get knocked down in the box and ring and still win the fight. You know you can lose three quarters and still win the game. Thank you. you know you can have a slow start and still win the race. I'm confident in this very thing. Before the race is over, I already won. You gotta know that. Tell somebody he won't fail you. Somebody, he didn't fail me. He didn't fail me. You know what he was doing? Oh, listen, when you mold it, you shake something. Hallelujah. You tend to put it in something. You don't, you don't mold nothing without putting it in something. Hallelujah. God put you in a trial in a situation because he was molding you. He was shaping you for the greater. I often wonder why, hallelujah, a, a regular cup don't have a handle. Because it ain't made for hot stuff. Now you take that mug, praise God. That mug got a handle on it because it's designed for something different. What you're going through, God is designing you for something different. Hallelujah. You don't need to look pretty like this glass right here, praise God. God is designing you for a greater purpose. Hallelujah. Just stay in the mood. Hear the I'm confident. Hallelujah. 
because they want an image, hallelujah. But God doesn't beat death, hallelujah. He can talk because he defeated death. Yes. The very thing most people are scared of, God has defeated it because he's real. He'd have been beat, he'd have been slapped, he'd have been spit on, and he didn't say nothing. He's legit, y'all. Some of us can check our cards, but we can slap, we slap it back, hallelujah. Amen. But God is legit. He's legit a savior. He's legit a deliverer. Yes. He's a legit way maker. He's a legit yes. promise keeper. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. He's everything. He's more than able to do what he said he's going to do. He's more than able to do what he said he's going to do. Listen, as we get ready to spin, come around the altar. Listen, don't give up on me. Let's come around the altar. Let's, let's leave you here in a worship. Let's leave you here in a praise. Because somebody don't give up on me. He ain't give up on you. Hallelujah. Shakara Boshe. And I want you to put on your mind the trial that you're going through, the pain that you're going through, the terror that the devil is trying to put on you. Hallelujah. And once you think about it, I want you to be real with yourself. You know the fight that you feel like you lose. You know the battle you feel like it ain't no hope in. Praise God. I want you to put that on your mind. Once you put that thing on your mind, I want you to start praising God. Hallelujah. I want you to start worshiping God. I want you to start uplifting God. Hallelujah for that victory. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, don't come quick for that. Come knowing. Come. Let's dismiss that down. Tell somebody he's able. Hallelujah. Now think about your fight. Think about your trial. Think about your head, come on, she got out of my Think about your trouble. Think about your situation. She put on a worship. And I want you to continue to give God praise. I want you to continue to give God worship. I want you to keep magnifying the Lord. God of my shit. Yeah, my shit. Hallelujah. Let the devil know he ain't got the victory. Let him know he ain't high. Let him know he don't stand a chance. Let him know he don't stand a chance. Oh, glory. You can feel him tugging at you. I don't want shit. Hallelujah, God is real. His power is real. His script is real. His might is real. His spirit is real. Get up, I see.
increase of your spirit. Thank you for the power of your spirit. Go keep it power. Go keep it power. Lord, she actually be kept. You keep it. Ah, go to God. Yes. 
destroy you. For his glory. Yeah, that's it.
question is rather than not how real is he? Shakaro shara shara dede shiko shara ba 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 boko ika deke dia shakara da 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 do boshi. And he wants you to experience him for yourself. Know that he's real and he loves you. And he wants you. Go for motion. Somebody ought to tell God thank you. Thank you. Somebody ought to tell him thank you. Tell somebody the battle ain't over. And I'm going to continue to shout. Yes.
and say, Lord, do whatever you have to. Do whatever you have to. Lord, use me like you have to. Do whatever you have to. Use me like you want to. The spirit of a son. Lord, why don't you perfect that gift? That's it. That he can teach with the spirit of a teacher.
find you, we will be in Valdosta next Sunday.